This mathematical model applies for many real-world problems. So if you have one in mind that you think can be solved with reinforcement learning, then you will have to The reinforcement learning framework gives us a way to study how an agent can learn to accomplish a goal from interaction with his environment. Assume the time evolves in discrete time steps. At each time step, the agent observes the environment. This observation is a situation that the environment presents to the agent. We will assume the environment shows the agent everything he needs to make a well-informed decision, so the agent is able to observe whatever state the environment is. Therefore, instead of an observation, we have an state. Then, in response to this state, the agent chooses an action. In the next time step, the environment reacts to this action and presents a new situation together with a reward. The reward tells the agent an indication of whether it has responded appropriately for the environment or not. All this iteration continues where at each time step, the environment sends the agent an observation or environment state and a reward and in response the agent must choose an action hmm the interaction continues until when when the cycle stops oh it's wrong uh, it depends on the task we are solving a task is an instance of the reform learning problem and we have two kinds of tasks and the first one is the episodic task where you have a well-defined endpoint for example if you are trying a self-driving car the iteration ends when the car crashes or if you are teaching a rocket to land the iteration ends when the rocket lands or when it sprouts <laughs> the second kind of, of task is the continuous task where the iteration never ends it has not an end so for example an agent that is learning to buy and sell stock let's add some notation we start at time step 0, the agent receives the environment state x0, so the agent chooses an action a0. At the next time step, the time step 1, uh, which is a direct consequence of the action that the agent selected previously and the previous environment state, the environment transitions to a new state, s1, and gives some reward r1 to the agent, which will select an action a1. At time step 2, the process continues where the environment passes the reward and the state. Then the agent responds with an action and so on. This is a cycle and the most important part is this, the reward. Any agent has the goal to maximize expected accumulated reward which can only be accomplished by interacting with the environment. Why? Because at every time step the environment decides how much reward the agent receives. So it preys under the environment rules. In other words, the reinforcement learning framework seeks to find a strategy for choosing an action where the cumulative reward is likely to be quite high. This mathematical model applies for many reward problems, so if you have one in mind that you think can be solved with reinforcement learning, then you will have to specify actions, states, and rewards, and define the environment rules. We will see that in the next videos. Good dog. A bon agre. Suscríbete, compadre. This mathematical model applies to many real world problems. So, if you have one. What are you doing? Tell them to subscribe. Tell them. Subscribe. Subscribe. I want to reach uh, 1,000 subscribers so I can monetize. Tell, 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 tell.